Hey everyone, uh, this is Bobby King, uh, of course. Um, I decided I'm going to start a, a video, I guess, blog. Uh, something I've never done before, something I probably should have started to do earlier, but, uh, you know, now is a better time than any. Um, this is time for me to just share what God's put on my heart and, and uh, kind of what's going on here with the ministry and, and um Get, the, get our needs and out there to, to, to our supporters and, and people who would be, who, uh, would be willing to support. Um, but first, I want to share something, a couple of verses, actually, that God's really been working in my heart uh, with you guys. And the first one here is 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. And I'm reading out of the King James Version on this one. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Whew. And I want to put that with another, a couple other verses from Galatians. Um, most, a lot of you may know these verses. This is Galatians chapter... 5 verse 22 and 23 but the fruit of the spirit is love joy peace long suffering gentleness goodness faith meekness temperance against such there is no law uh you know i don't know about your church but i i know in in ours here and and in my old church there in, in evansville grace outreach we talk a lot about the fruits of the spirit and all of us desire those fruits in our lives um many of you may may know may many of you may not that i used to be an atheist uh, i was an atheist for about 10 years of my life up until about a couple of years, to about two and a half years ago and something that I always said as an atheist, and I've, I've been reading some posts and things online with different things happening, and, and I keep hearing atheists say this, and, and um, it's something that, that uh, I used to say. Um, and it's, you know, I, I'm a, I'm a, I can be a good person on my own. You know, I don't, I don't need religion to, to make me a good person. I don't need rules to make me a good person. I can, you know, I don't have to you know, need a book to, or a God to, to, for me to love other people, for me to, uh, care about other people. And they use it, you know, atheists, we, I use that and, and they, they use it as justification, um, for not needing God. Uh, and they're right. Now, now here's, here's the thing is, and this is something I'm challenging myself on. Can we look at our lives and and recognize that we as, as, as people in our character, other than going to church, I'm, I'm talking to us as Christians, other than going to church on Sunday, saying, saying our prayers before we eat, you know, um, the way we live our lives, is it any different than the average atheist going down the street? You know, there are many... Um, atheists out there that do really good things for the community and, and for people. Um, but God called us to be a peculiar people. So, is the way we live, if we're really showing these fruits of the Spirit, now guys, this is this fruit of the Spirit, this is the fruit of God. So when we take this sin, when we look at love, just take love, for instance. Do we love more than the average person? The un you know, the atheist out there who, who has a you know a an organization to help, you know, uh, underprivileged children? Do we love more than they do? Well, on our own we can't. But if we desire the fruit of God in our life, that is a supernatural kind of love. That is a love that, that a person that does not have the Holy Spirit living in them cannot show. Cannot. They can't. So we have to look at ourselves, and I believe John said this, um, to, to test ourselves if we are 
you know, showing that if, if salvation is, 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 if our salvation, which includes the, the indwelling of the Holy Spirit, if it's evident in our, in our lives, in our character, if these fruits are, are of a grander scale than what the average person shows. You know, I, I was, I can say, you know, I'm a much better person than I am now, that I am a much better person now than I was. But even as an atheist, I wasn't a, I wasn't a, you know, I was a very patient person. Um, I was a very loving person. I was, you know, a very gentle person, you know. I had a lot of these descriptions in my life, but it was not through the Spirit because I did not have the, the Holy Spirit within me. Yeah, you guys, hopefully you guys are following me here. So, desire to be a peculiar person. Desire to have these gifts, these the, the fruit of the Spirit in our life at a supernatural level. Not just as good or maybe a little bit better than the average atheist out there. If the church could, could live in this kind of power of the Holy Spirit, then atheists would not be able to say... Oh well, I'm I I love just as much as that Christian over there does. They wouldn't be able to say that because it's impossible if we're living with the fruit of the spirit. And I, I'm not having apprehended that yet. I'm praying for it. I'm praying for it earnestly. But desire it in your hearts too, and in your lives. So I want to share that with you guys. Something God really has been working in my heart. Um, hope you enjoyed this. Um, I just want to share one more thing real quickly. Guys, we, uh, I, I'm, we're in desperate need of a miracle here. Um, my visa is up here in about 11 days, I think, um, here in Brazil. And we need like a lot, at least, at least $1,500 um, to be able to get me to New York. We have something. God gave me a vision about New York, and, and, and it's amazing. There's some really big things gonna ha that are going to happen in New York. Um, Though I need your help, I need the support of, of of faithful, cheerful givers that that are willing to push the kingdom into New York and really um, help start a revival. And that's what I see in New York, and and I'm blessed to be a part of it. But I need your help to, in order to make it happen. So if you could um, check out my Facebook page, check out my GoFundMe page. It's www.gofundme.com/slash/worksofmercy. Um, we really need your help, guys. Uh, and if you can't give financially, get, keep us in your prayer. We need a miracle. Um, get in touch with me if you'd like to know for more, more information about our, our organization, Voice of Many Waters. Um, I've got some really cool material that I can give you, or if you'd like to share it with your pastor or even business owners that may be willing to help us out in, in pushing forward um, the goals that we have in, our, in this ministry and in this association uh, in order to make the next generation uh, even better and, and to help grow them in Christ. Um, Give me uh, just uh, check me out on Facebook. Uh, get with uh, get with me if you like more information. Guys, God bless you. Um, focus on the kingdom. Living, you know, God says, search, seek the kingdom first, and all things shall be added unto you. Uh, God bless you, and and have a great day.